Hey there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and a Christmas card making video today. I'll be making this card and coordinating tag with a brand new die set from Spellbinders. This is the Magical Deer set. It's been designed by one of my fellow design team members, Zoska Marco. She created this and some other Nordic themed dies, embossing folder, and stamp set. So let's jump into card number one. First, I want to show you this die set all die cut out and how you put all the pieces together so there is the largest die that creates the body of the deer and I'm just paper piercing poking out all of those tiny little pieces so I can back this with another color of cardstock so that red paper will show through and give me some little red dots on my white deer there is also a blanket like a saddle blanket that you can put over the deer and so I'm going to do mine with some kind of teal light teal and red in my card today there are a bunch of little pieces that you can embellish your deer or add to it to make like fur and hooves and things like that so for my embellishments on the deer I, they're not really embellishments but yeah those extra pieces I'm using some white glitter paper and the glitter on my paper is actually white glitter it's not iridescent so it can be hard maybe in this video right now to tell that it's glitter paper but I like the subtlety of it it's not too much so I also backed that piece that goes um, down the middle of the deer's head with that light teal paper and then I am using the glitter paper for the insides of the ears um, the inside of the tail and the little belly and these antlers as well and I did the fur on the chest and that piece down the middle of the face and I did decide to give my deer a little red nose because it goes with the colors I'm using so why not right give it a little bit of a Rudolph flair even though that's not really what I'm going for but I felt like magical deer kind of um just made me want to do white because a white deer is like so very rare I have seen one before in a like preserve type place okay we're going to set that aside and create the background for our card using this 3d embossing folder from spellbinders this wood grain folder now when you do this you want this new universal plate system to do 3d embossing folders right here on the base plate it tells you what you need to do a 3d embossing folder which is the d adapter plate and look at all of the texture on this it is so amazing how much texture you get i think it's gorgeous i'm gonna add a little snow to my woodland type background here i am using some picket fence white acrylic paint and um you may have seen at the beginning of my video i had a sketch there kind of what i wanted my card to be and so that's the wood grain background and then the snow on it and i'm gonna just fussy cut a little bit of a hill for my ground and that is also from that white glitter paper I'll glue that into place and then add my deer. Now I'm kind of using more glue than I normally would because I am sticking this down to a very textured background. And there's also dies in this set that die cut out little flowers. So you can put them in the deer's antlers and I think it's so very cute. Like what a fun touch to this set. So I'm gonna add some red flowers and I did little centers for them from that white glitter paper. So I will just place those in and around the antlers and then add their centers. And they are like, they just make the card, right? It's that little extra detail that really brings it to life. So here are the little centers and you could do these in all different colors, but I just needed an extra pop of red, I felt, right? yeah <laughs> okay so once we have that done i am going to work on my sentiment i'm going to hot foil a sentiment using red foil on white paper so i have my quick trimmer here that works really good for cutting foil in a nice straight line i'm using it to hot foil merry christmas from this plate set it is the yana's christmas sentiments that she designed for spellbinders last year i believe and i am putting that face down onto my preheated glimmer hot foil system. Once the timer has gone off, I can remove my entire platform with the plates on top and run that through my system. Now, if you are new to hot foiling, I do have a lot of hot foil videos on my channel. You can search for that playlist and watch 
all about hot foiling to your heart's content. All right, there is a coordinating die for this, so I'm gonna die cut that out. And I want it to be a little bit like raised up off of my card, but it's like really scripty and thin. So the best way is to like just die cut out some extra pieces and layer them up. I die cut mine from some like extra thick cardstock and I did two of those and then here is my hot foiled piece going on top. And I can stick that down to my card again with maybe a little bit more glue than I normally do. And I just like to hold that in place maybe a little bit longer than normal. So um, it's not going to be interrupted by the texture. I mounted this to an A2 size card and I'm bringing in some Winter Sky clay embellishments from Trinity Stamps and gluing those down to embellish this snowy little scene. And I think that they are really cute. I feel like also the like bluish color in here looks more blue than it does in person. Like it matches the kind of teal color in real life a little bit better than it appears to right here. But there you can see the glitter paper also, all the texture from the snow and that wood grain background. I'm a huge fan of all things wood grain. So I love that in the background for um, just a woodland look. Okay, let's make a tag that matches, well, it, it more coordinates really. I'm gonna use some red foil paper and this Essentials Circle die set. I'm going to use three of these dies all at once. I just need to kind of make sure they're spaced really evenly. That takes a minute and then I'll run these through and this is going to give me a red frame and the center of the frame is going to have those little dots cut into it similar to the look on my deer. So I thought that was really cool just to repeat that look. Um, also I didn't want to scratch up my red foil paper so I used my tool there on the back side to pop out those little extra red circles. I need a plain white circle to put behind my frame. And so I use the largest die to do that. And I want to emboss this with that same wood grain folder. So like I said, my tag is going to coordinate with my card, but not be exactly the same. Now you could do this exactly the same. I could have done this brown, I could have put the splatter, all the things, but I wanted to mix it up a little bit, still using the same colors. So I made a brown deer, and to remove the little holes from the back, I put down a piece of tape, and that peels them out really easily. There's a little tip for you. I also use some of that red foil paper where you see red on this deer. Now I wanted to add some snow to my circle here before I stuck my deer down, but it's already white. So I decided to use the shimmer, um, sparkle, sparkle silk. That's what it's called from Spellbinders. And I let that dry and then I put my deer right down on there. Now I did not add any glue to the back of the antlers yet. And I'm just gonna trim off the deer where it hangs over the edge of my tag. And then I put that circle on so that it overlaps the bottom of the deer, but his antlers are sticking out the top. So I thought that was a fun look. Now I can just lift those antlers up, put some dots of glue there and stick them back down. Now it's time to embellish his antlers with some flowers. Now for the first card, I had red flowers with glitter centers. This time I'm gonna use the white glitter flowers with the red centers. So just using what I already had die cut for this, and I'm putting a few less on this because it's such a smaller size than the card. I didn't want it to be too overwhelming with a ton of flowers. So three on each antler seemed to be like the magic number. I also hot foiled the same sentiment this time on that really light teal cardstock. It has a name. It's from the Spellbinder shop. It's like waterfall. I don't remember. I'll link it for you below if you love this color. It's one of my favorite colors. I should know the name of this cardstock. I added some more of those clay embellishments. And now I am adding a eyelet at the top using my brand new crocodile. I have to say a huge shout out to my friend who bought this for me when she heard that mine broke. So I am using that and adding a little white eyelet at the top so I can string on some red and white baker's twine. I love this for the holidays. I need to get some more of this because I think it's so pretty, so perfect for your tags. I added a little bit smaller red circle to the back so you could write to and from and whatever you want on the back. And I just put my twine on there loosely so I could add this to a package or a gift bag. If it goes on a package, I could tie a bow if I wanted. So leaving it loose gives me options. So there is my Christmas card 
and my Christmas tag. Um, I'm kind of getting a little bit in the Christmas spirit in as much as I'm ready to make some more Christmas cards because if I make them all at the end when I'm ready to send them out, then it's stressful. So I like to start early and it's September. So I think it's, it's an okay time to start making Christmas cards. What about you? Are you starting to make your Christmas cards? I'd love to know. Chat with me in the um, comments below. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. I have new paper crafting videos for you all the time. And I'll see you very soon on the next one. Happy stamping. Bye.